All right, folks. Hello, and welcome back to Downstage Gaming. I'm your host, Josh, and this is Long Live the Queen. Uh, but you, you have no idea how tempted I am right now to just burst out into our beautiful American national anthem here. Uh, <laughs> I, I will, I will, I will save that for now. Maybe, maybe later you'll get that treat. Uh, but this is a game that, uh, one of the, uh, viewers of, uh, previous series that I've done had recommended to me, and it's one that I've definitely been curious about for a while. Uh, the, the quick and dirty history of me in this game is that I have seen, like, I think, like, two times, uh, somebody stream this game. Uh, both times it was, like, very short little clips, I just got, like, little pieces of what's going on. Uh, so I know the general idea that you're, like, a young girl who's about to become queen and you have a lot of, like, various stats that get improved or, uh, or get worse depending on choices you make. Uh, there appears to be, like, if I go into preferences here, there's, okay, it's not, it's not here, darn it. Uh, there's, uh, there's a lot that I could see here. Oh, here it is, it's a checklist, okay. So, like, there's a lot of achievements, there's a lot of deaths, epilogues, titles, I don't know if we're gonna get to all of it, I don't know if we're gonna 100% this, we're just gonna take it as it is, and just, and just see how things go, okay? So let's, uh, let's dig right in at the start here. Jocelyn, King Dowager, Duke of C Calaris. We're almost home. Your room is just the way you left it. I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends, but I've arranged the best possible tutors for every subject. You'll have to work hard this year to prepare yourself before your 15th birthday, but I know you can do it. I mean, God, 15. And this is a rough age to be doing anything, let alone, uh, rule a country. You'll learn quickly, and you'll make a wonderful queen. It's what your mother would have wanted. This is not what mother would have wanted. She wouldn't have wanted to die and leave me. No, she wouldn't. But sometimes bad things happen. We have to pick up and carry on. All of Nova depends on us. On you. Yeah. I will be here to guide you until your coronation. But the decisions you make are ultimately up to you. Come, your maids are waiting. Jocelyn, I feel like you can give me a little more here. Welcome to Long Live the Queen. This is your first time playing. You should read the brief introduction to how the game works. Well, you know what? I've not played this game before, so tell me more. Okay, so we're going to be controlling Elodie, the almost Queen of Nova, as she tries to prepare for her coronation. To do that, she needs to take classes every week in order to raise her skills. The skills she learns will provide different choices in the ongoing plot. Learning the right skills can mean the difference between life and death. You also need to keep an eye on Elodie's mood, okay? Was it The Sims? With her mother's tragic death, Elodie's <laughs> not very happy right now. We got a lot of anxiety and depression we're going to be dealing with. Okay. The mood button will take you to the emotion screen for more details. Can we just can we just do this right now? If I come over here? Oh, okay. Elodie is feeling both afraid and <laughs> depressed, but her strongest emotion is depressed. Yeah, well, you know, it is 2022. If she becomes more cheerful to cancel out the depression, her strongest emotion would then be afraid. Elodie's current mood affects her ability to learn. It will give her a bonus to some skills and a penalty to others. Let's take a look at the skill screen now. Let's do that. Skills are broken into four main categories. Social, physical, intellectual, and mystical. Mystical, all right. Uh, all right, I'm just taking a look at all. Okay, there's, there's a lot here. Uh... <laughs> Inside these categories are skill sets, groups of three related skills. You will start with zero in all skills. Okay. Every week, Elodie can study two skills. Normally, she earns two points of skill for every weekday that she studies. So if she studies history, she'll earn two times five, which will be ten points. Okay. Because Elodie is depressed, she has a minus two. I was wondering where those pluses and minuses were coming in. Okay. To the social skill set conversation. She doesn't feel like talking to people right now, and really, who can blame her? If she studies conversation, she will earn two minus two points per day. That is zero points. So that would be a bad one to pick. However, she has plus one to the expression skill set. If she studies one of the expression skills, she will earn two plus one points per day, 
which means three points a day, 15 points for a week. Okay. If you study a skill you have a penalty for, it could be wasting your time, so you don't want to do that. You probably want to pick ones you have bonuses for. Makes sense. All these bonuses and penalties will change when all these mood changes, right? She can also gain bonuses to skill sets by studying related skills. Check the skill screen every week to see your current bonuses. Once you know your mood, your bonuses and penalties, you're ready to choose your classes for the first week. Okay. The classes screen breaks down skill sets by category for your morning and evening classes. Evening classes? Come on. When you select a skill set, the three options in that set will appear on the right side of the screen. Okay. Choose a class option for both morning and evening classes, then click the Done button, which will appear in the lower right corner. As you play through the story, you will sometimes see feedback bubbles appearing over the text. These tell you what's happening behind the scenes. The number crunching. Bubbles like these will show you when Elodie's mood is being altered by events. Bubbles like these, oh no, <laughs> failed my history test, will show you when the story is changing based on what skills Elodie, is <clears throat> Elodie. Elodie has learned so far. If the test fails, there is some option being missed because she doesn't have enough points. Okay, so this is a skill check. This is D&D is, &D is what I'm hearing. This feedback is very helpful in figuring out different options to try. But if you don't want to see it, you can turn the bubbles off in the preferences menu. Okay. Now get, now get, now you're done. Become queen. Huh. Alright, first, before anything else, let's uh, come to the menu here. Come to preferences. The uh, music volume's a little loud for me. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and turn this down just a little bit. That should be good for now. Okay. <coughs> right, so I'm using a controller for the most part here. Oh well, well, hang on. Let's check out her outfit. Okay. Well, we only have her bonus screen for right now. Um, music controller right now. I might might switch to keyboard mouse depending on this goes, but we'll we'll stick here for now. Okay. So let's take a look at what we got here. So. Expression would be pretty good. We got a plus one there. Animal handling, we got a plus one there. That's probably the stuff we should focus on right now. I mean, again, I have no idea what's important for what at this point, and I, I'm gonna assume that I'm probably gonna die pretty early on this first time around, so let's just kind of all be prepared for that. Um, all right, so expression and animal handling. All right, so if we were to do expression, we could just decoration, instrument, or voice. I mean, listen, I'm all about singing. I was in choir. Let's 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 practice the voice, you know. And then during the night, let us practice. Let's 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 hang out with some dogs, you know. Training, hunting in the night. That sounds good. That sounds like fun. Um. Now is there like a confirmation thing? Are you just done? Probably. Probably. Okay. Is there anything else we want to do? I don't think so. I think we're good. All right. All right. So just sing beautifully here. Get 15 there. We're still depressed. Singing has not helped our mood. Dog's also not really helping, but we got 15 in both. All right. What's all that noise outside? Who's here? Oh, it's my cousins and my aunt and uncle. Darling, we're so terribly sorry to hear about your mother, Fidelia. Thank you. You look well, niece. Hi, Lodi. Hi, Lottie. I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Yep. Mommy said we'd be here all month. Hmm, maybe we'll have some time to talk later. Thanks for cheering me up. Well, oh, there are cousins here. Now that you finished studying, what will you do for the weekend? Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, did I pick something? I didn't mean to pick something. <laughs> Whoops. All right, well, we spend the weekend hold up alone in your room with your favorite toys. It's childish, but we feel a bit better. Fair enough. You, uh, you're you not giving me a facial expression here, LD, that suggests we're doing well. But, uh, hey, you know, let's, uh, I guess we should check to see, are we still kind of in the same general area here? Um, no, we're, we're okay. We're already, okay, so agility would be a good one with a plus one there. And we could get some mystical. Got a, got a plus one on mystical. Uh, well, we got a plus one to faith, specifically. Sorry. Okay, so let's, let's focus on agility and faith this month, then. So, agility. Do dance, reflexes, flexibility. I mean, oh, man. 
<laughs> These all seem kind of important. I mean, reflexes seems like there's gonna be some, you know, check that's definitely gonna let us die if we don't have good reflexes. So maybe we should focus on that. And then in faith, you know I'm all about the lore. I love learning the lore. Let's see how we did. So a teacher walks around you, prodding a finger at you slowly in order to train you and blocking those touches without triggering fear or faster breathing. What kind of dune nonsense is this, <laughs> this kind of teaching style? Only a lumen can channel magic, and only with the help of an attuned crystal. Okay, so we're also a magical princess, which really I should have expected. The ability to control the crystal seems to be inherited, so crystals can be passed from parent to child upon the lumen's death. Or at least I assume we're a Lumen. I mean, we, we, if we have the ability to train mystical magics, I would assume so. What's that commotion outside? Father, what's going on? I have come to pay my respects in honor of your mother. You have no respect or honor. It is because of you and your powers that my wife is dead to Jesus. <laughs> what? Juliana, what have you done? I am a Lumen, as was she, and like every Lumen, I am willing to give my life, if necessary, to protect our domain. Your line has been traitors for 200 years, and I won't have you corrupting my daughter. That is for the Crown Princess to decide. Elodie, your mother trusted me, and I have much to teach you. I mean... We're not gonna arrest her. Because what, what, what are we basing that off of? Just dad saying that he doesn't like her? I have no reason right now to say that she's done anything wrong. Other than dad being mad about mystical women. So let's let her stay. I want to hear what she has to say. She stays. <laughs> As you wish. <laughs> I'm starting to see that this... Uh... Okay, so here we go. Okay, so we can play with toys. Plus one yielding, plus one lonely, plus one cheerful. Uh, Alright, wait, wait, what's our what's our mood in general here? Alright, so we're pr pretty willful. I, I would like us to get more cheerful and maybe a little less uh, afraid as well. Would be, that'd be okay. Um, oh my god, here we go. Okay, so... Hmm. A lot of things that are making us cheerful are also... Okay, we could visit Juliana. I'm curious about that. Visit Charlotte and Lady Merva. We could talk to Daddy. I mean, we just let her in. Might as well talk to Juliana, right? See what her deal is. What is it you wanted to teach me? First, I need to know if you have your mother's crystal. A lumen crystal? No. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Lore already coming in handy. The royal crystal has been passed down from ruler to ruler for generations. It belongs to you now. Except that the king has been keeping it from you. Do you have a crystal? Of course. She, <laughs> she like, shoves it in my face. Light flickers above her bo bosom. And then, with a shower of sparkles, something takes shape. You reach out to touch it, and it just dissolves away into nothing. Oh, I wanted the sparkles. It belongs to me. No one can take it from me until I die. So you're saying I have to kill you, Juliana. You need to find the crystal that belongs to you. You're still looking really freaked out, my girl. <laughs> Alright, um... What are we at now, then? Okay don't okay we can continue doing faith we got a good bit in faith and continue to be in agility okay so let's 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 stick with those two then for now but we can do some different classes so for agility let's let's switch to flexibility and then if we have another week we can do dance and then let's get some meditation going you know let's maintain our inner peace Alright, so we learn to relax and evaluate the tension in our body, then to practice the different types of motion available to each of our joints. Twisting, shifting, rotating. <laughs> bonus? <laughs> I'm afraid. Um, oh, I'm getting a bonus because I'm afraid, I see. Practice assuming a sitting position that allows me to be relaxed and tranquil without being so relaxed you're likely to fall asleep. He loves me. He loves me not. Lottie, do you have a boyfriend? Not really, I just like to play with the flowers. All of a sudden, the Duchess of Ursula rushes into the garden and points a sword at you. Jesus, what? No, not at you. At your feet? 
Princess, don't move. I I trust her. I trust her. Hold still. No, oh, <laughs> you want to hold still, but you don't have the composure to hold your position without peeking. You look down with her, where her sword is pointing. There's a snake in the grass. You can't help it. You squeak and jump back. The snake tenses and prepares to strike. No! Your cousin pushes you aside. The snake's veins sink into her leg. Lottie! Too late. Juliana swings her sword and cuts off the snake's head. What is going on out here? Your daughter's been bitten by a milk viper. I mean, milk viper sounds all right. They're poisonous. Get her. Get an herbalist right away. I will treat my daughter. I certainly can't trust anyone here to keep her safe. I'm sorry. I don't feel good. <laughs> oh no. We'll be returning home to Merva immediately. Well, your aunt has a point. Milk vipers are not native to this area. That snake should never have been here. Someone may have tried to kill you. Will Charlotte be okay? I don't know. Alright, well that's not great. <laughs> Alright, um... <laughs> okay, if somebody gets locked up, we could go visit the dungeons. Um... Again, I would like to- I would like to get more cheerful, but that's just gonna make us more lonely, too. Let's go talk to Dad. Yeah, because we, we need- we need to know what happened to the crystal anyways, this makes sense. Dad, what happened to Mom's Lumen Crystal? It's in a safe place. Can I have it? No. <laughs> Never ask that again. But it's mine! Meddling with magic killed your mother. I don't want that to happen to you. Once you're crowned queen, I can't stop you from doing anything you want. But for now, you are still my child. Alright. Well, we uh, got somebody maybe killed. So we're doing pretty good so far, I would say, this run. Um... Again, we haven't really changed our mood, so again, we're we're in a we're in an agility and faith week. So let's get the get the last bits we haven't gotten yet. Get good at dance. Get good at divination. Or can I not? Okay, there we go. You practice curtsying, standing, and walking across the floor in a graceful manner. So it's really afternoon classes more than evening classes. That makes more sense. You learn that the gods cannot be forced to divulge information about the future. They can only be bribed. And that the most powerful omens are those which arrive unexpectedly. Ooh. The castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery and Zahra and their parents gone. It's certainly not empty, though. It seems like we get more servants every day. I was so worried about Charlotte after that snake bit her. But her mother said that she's okay, so I guess it turned out alright, so... Maybe she has a guardian angel. Well, it's good to know that she didn't die, I guess. So the question mark must just mean, like... That we don't know what effect we'll get from that. But I don't know, like, if I'm gonna get just the same thing if I go and visit them again. Hmm. Alright, let's try to get a little more cheerful here. Um... We get plus one lonely and plus one cheerful when we walk in the garden. I thought it was, uh, oh, but plus one lonely is not great. Well, whatever. Let's walk in the gardens. Walk in the fresh air helps you forget the burdens on your shoulders. But why are we still freaking out, girl? <laughs> probably because you're afraid, huh? We probably should try to get you less afraid next time. All right, we can, we can, we can, we can, uh, we can focus on that. Let's see here. Still very good at agility, still very good at faith. So I guess let's continue to just focus on that stuff. Again, I don't listen. I don't know if this is what we're supposed to be doing or not, but it, here we are. Let's continue to work on those reflexes, you know? Uh, and then let's get some more lore going. All right, so practice with some jump rope. That sounds good. Practice solo tennis, hitting a ball against the wall repeatedly in order to train your hand, your eye to react. Okay, sounds all right. You can now play sports on the weekends, hey? 
All right, the kings and queens of Nova have all been lumens for centuries, but in modern times, magic is only used for ceremonial occasions and the direst of emergencies. Long, long ago, the continent of Borealis was ruled over by a single witch king until a rival line of lumens challenged for the crown. The resulting war went on for a hundred years with powerful spells that damaged land so badly that even now, no plants will grow. There's a history here, you know? <laughs> we're, we're in a land of history. One of the maids approaches for your attention. My lady, couriers have arrived from the Duke of Sedna. We have a Duke of Sedna? <laughs> oh, God. My lord hasn't helped me with this. No, my lady, the Duchy of Sedna is in Talisse. <laughs> You're such an idiot. <laughs> they have brought you a letter and a gift. Condolences on the death of deeply regret, best wishes. Oh, what a beautiful necklace. Court manners failed, but we're more cheerful. Something sparkly will make me feel better. Okay, so we probably should have said like a thank you letter or something is my guess. Okay, so we could get more angry, <laughs> but less lonely by doing sports. Um, let's see here. I want to get less afraid. Is there anything that will make me less afraid? What's, uh, okay, attending a service, well, that might be it, though. Okay, all right, well, let's, uh, all right, I'll use my mouse here since I can't get to this center bit. Let's, let's attend a service, get a little bit less afraid here. Ten services in the Castle Grove, letting the peace of the ritual calm your heart. You still seem super freaked out, though. <laughs> all right, let's go through, let's go through one more day here. Um... Check the skills. Again, not much has changed here in terms of the bonuses. Oh, I see that that's actually there on the right, too. That's that's useful. The bonuses and penalties are just listed there. Okay. Well, uh, flexibility and meditation. How about? Let's do it. Practice circling your arms, making kick motions with your legs to stretch out your limbs. Practice bouncing motions with your arms and legs to increase the muscular effect. All right, get nice and strong, girl. You close your eyes, relax every muscle of your body in turn, letting that feeling travel down through you from your head to your fingertips and your toes, like an acting exercise. Take slow, deep breaths, letting that air move through your body, feeling give you life and energy. All right, as we're walking, we spot a familiar figure in the palace gardens. It's the Duchess of Ursel. Maybe I should go and say hello. Then you notice that seated beside her is a woman in the robes of a priestess. They're very close together, their hands gently touching as they speak. Uh-oh. Looks like she's busy. You turn to walk in a different direction so as not to disturb them. At that moment, you notice something unusual. It looks like someone just left the palace grounds by going over the hedge. Was that a servant? A thief? Or an assassin? Hmm. I doubt that it's an assassin. Let's take a look. <laughs> Never mind. You look around for something to climb, but you're not sure if the nearby trees can support your weight. You run over to a statue and try to pull yourself up onto the pedestal, but it's too awkward to get your feet in place. By this time, whoever you saw is probably gone anyway. All right. Well, then for this last one, let's uh, let's visit Juliana again. My father says I can't have the crystal until I'm queen, so we'll just have to wait. There may not be time to wait. This world is filled with dangers, and you will need the power of a lumen to fight them. You can't begin training until you are bonded with your crystal. Well, what else am I supposed to do about it? The crystal is probably held under guard in the royal treasury. You are the princess. You should be able to find a way inside. Otherwise, we might have to take drastic action. <laughs> She's kill daddy? I mean, I, I gotta admit I'm trusting you a bit less at this point, because I feel like... I mean, it's certainly possible that you're lying to me, because you want the crystal for yourself for some reason. Hmm. I'll try to find a way. Alright, I will try to get into the treasury. Alright, well, we have a... 
have a heist mission uh, lined up for next time, and with our current skills, I'm sure we're sure we're fully prepared to do that. Uh, <laughs> we're listen, we're willful, if nothing else. That's that's what really matters, I think, at the end of the day. Uh, so we'll continue on, and uh, again, try to try to <laughs> I guess skill that crystal next time. Until then, folks, this has been Downstage Gaming. I've been your host, Josh, and I will catch you all next time. <laughs>